The FDA states that, and I quote, sometimes warning labels are added, but usually if we judge, and our experts judge, that you get more benefit from it than the expected risk, the product stays on the market. How much benefit can we get from drugs that every year reach the level of deaths from combat in both the Vietnam and Korean wars? We can certainly expect at least as much benefit from dietary supplements without the yearly horror of so many deaths. The FDA in its task force report, page 18, states that it's concerned that the presence of dietary supplements on the marketplace, and I again quote, does not act as a disincentive for drug development. Members of Congress, let us pray that the presence of dietary supplements gets people so healthy that it does act as a disincentive, that so many people will get so healthy and so much disease is prevented that drugs are not necessary. We need all the help we can get to get out from under the horror of the FDA post-approval risks. So please consider co-sponsoring and voting for the health freedom bills that will protect consumer rights, keep dietary supplements on the marketplace, control health claims and health fraud, allow your constituents freedom of choice in their personal health care, and allow small businesses to compete with corporate giants for a share of this blossoming new market. So please consider the plan we discussed and of which you have a copy. It will help assure the American public that it is getting high quality supplements and that specific health claims on products are approved for public safety. It will solve many problems that will otherwise be a drain on the resources of both the FDA and the dietary supplement industry. Allow the mothers and fathers of America to use herbs and other traditional home remedies to nurture their families. Let the small business entrepreneurs and the corporate giants advertise both their compliance to the NLEA to the consumer and use the competitive marketplace to deliver better and better products, better and better health care, until America is strong and robust again. And at the same time, it will relieve the FDA from the temptation to enforce restrictive regulations and to allow the FDA to become part of the solution rather than part of the problem. You have the power to create an environment where America is free to grow and build a new spirit of vitality that will take us into the 21st century alive and well. It is a journey America must make, and we rely on you. In fact, that's why we elected you, to take us there.